what advice would you give a young carpenter or young contractor who's just starting out? Um, play the long game. Um, you know, this trade is not something this trade is not something that like it pays off quick. You're going to get in it in a year. You're going to be a master. You're going to go on your own. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying, think of the future, invest in yourself, right? This, and this is exactly what I tell my apprentices. I, I, I say, guys, this is your trade, your trade, your craft. It's up to you to own it. I will give you, I will give you the knowledge. I'll give you the tools, but it's up to you to want it. Mm -hmm. Because, because in that moment when you're working on this killer coffered ceiling inside this, this, uh, you know, award-winning home that, you know, uh, you know, uh, the best of the best and the uh, biggest, Biggest uh, names around are going to be looking at your work. Well, that's easy to say. Oh, we're going to get it. But it's 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 on those jobs that drag, the decisions that drag, the the, the times that you know you don't want to work on a Sunday because you you do have three kids at home, you have a wife that needs you um, as much as you need her, but you're doing what you got to do to get it done. So. I guess the advice is play the long game. If, if, if you think getting in the trades is a get rich quick scheme and it's, a um, it's going to be just a, a kind of skate in the park. Um, it ain't, it ain't going to happen. I, I wish it. Listen, I wish for everybody's sake, it was like that but it's not, it's long hours. It's stressful, but you know what? Standing back and looking at something you built with your hands, that's going to hopefully be, be up, um, hanging on that wall, hanging, hanging from that ceiling a hundred years from now. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if there's anything, if there's anything more powerful than that. Not for me anyways. Just play the long game. Don't don't give up and, and put in the work. You know, we, what I didn't have when I first started out was was all this knowledge around me. Not to say the people weren't knowledgeable, right? But YouTube, you know, 12, 12, 13, 14 years ago, YouTube wasn't what it is today. Instagram wasn't around, you know. When I first got on the Instagram platform, there was almost a sense of like jealousy. Hmm. I'm like, this guy doesn't care as much as I care. There's no way. There's no way anybody would care as much as I care. Hmm. And then like, then I'm, I, I, a, a funny story. I, I was working on a Sunday, very custom home. It was, it was one of those days, Martin. It was one of those days. I wanted to be at home with my family. And uh, and I, I opened up Instagram and I seen uh, Jason Mullick uh, from JPM Construction commented on, on you know one of my posts. And we kind of got into a little exchange. And I don't even know that he would recall it, but, but we got into this little uh, exchange of, of messages. And, uh, I think maybe he was working that Sunday too. And it was like, there was almost this, this comfort level, like, you know what? Maybe I'm not alone. Maybe, maybe, maybe I just want something a little more than, you know, when I pull in my, my industrial complex on a Sunday morning on a, you know, five o'clock on a Saturday morning, there's nobody in any of the businesses. Mm -hmm. And it's been like that since day one. And I'm, I'm like, either, either I'm just in the wrong business or like, is it, it am I doing something wrong? Am I, am I not running a good business? What I realize is may, maybe, maybe I just care a lot and maybe I just want 
success. And, and I can't even tell you in this moment what success is because when I go home, I, I I look into their eyes every single day. That's success. But man, oh man, I think the, the, the second, the second runner up is like sitting in the audience when, when they're calling your name up on, uh, on the stage for, you know, best contemporary foyer, like, like that is, that's pretty darn cool. Mm -hmm.